Hi, from Andy at Art Mosaics of the Carolinas. We were contacted to do a wall for the Palmetto Adventureland Park in Carolina Forest, South Carolina. As you can see, the wave wall is under construction. And we started the process in the studio where we, uh, I created a pattern. The children picked out the themes that they wanted. One was an underwater seascape on the front wall and on the back wall it was a palmetto beach coastline so here it shows us cutting out all the elements for the front wall uh, I actually have a friend here Eve she volunteered to uh, help us out she's a stained glass artist and picked up the cutting of porcelain very easily and another friend joined us, Margie. She had never cut anything before either, but she was there willing to help us out. So we put all the huge elements together on netting that we would take to the park. And it was quite a feat. We actually started on this 10 days before we were to be there for the weekend. They had a lot of volunteers come in to help build the park. And um, this is the first day getting ready to start the fun. Mr. Mark Leathers and Associates travels the country coordinating and overseeing community built parks. My friend is laying it out generally so that the installers know where to put the biggest elements. And then our friend Eve got everyone started. Senator Lou Ranklin was responsible for raising money to build this community built park. And he was up there, wanted to install some fish, and he did a great job of that. As we work during the day, you can see we had a lot of volunteers. Our installers, Don and his assistants, there was Channel 13 news crew came. And they did a great job. See how the stuff's on netting. And then Sammy Small was another tile installer who volunteered his time. And as you can see, the wall is starting to come together. Everybody wanted to work on the mosaic wall. Of course, there was a lot more going on in the park behind us. So... We couldn't let everybody join us, but my goodness, they loved cracking the tile and just had a really good time. As you can see here, the wall is starting to come together, but there were a lot of other people doing things. Row Construction asked me if I'd cut a logo for them, so I did that on site so that they could incorporate it into the wall. They were very proud to be a big part of this, too. While we created all the big elements in the studio, the volunteers came and they added the sea, the sky, the clouds, the beaches. And there's my hat, Matt. He's volunteering too. He's mixing some mastic. Again, the news crew's fooling around. My friend Joanne is always having fun wherever she goes. Sammy's supervising. People did really, really seem to enjoy it. They had smiles on their faces all day long. We tried to protect, protect them too with some tents. It was quite warm that day. But people worked diligently. You can see big mounds of dirt that had to be filled in in front of the wall. Kind of, there's a big slant there or a rut. It was really pays to be careful when you're putting uh, mastic on a wall because if you get it all over the tile in front then you've got to do a massive cleanup job but hey that's the way it goes here's the senator's kids putting some pieces up on the wall and a local pizza shop volunteered and gave us pizzas and some refreshments and I'll tell you we got a lot done in two days the uh, wall really came together along with all the pieces and parts of the park behind it. And I'm sure all the children will have a wonderful time playing at this park. Once, uh, Well, we've been there since then, and we have seen lots of children playing on, in the park. And here they put the toppers on the wall. It really pulled it back together, too. They had fun walkways. And um, the entire thing was built by volunteers. We were very, very honored to be a part of it. We, uh, I had talked to my husband earlier and told him that I would love to be a part of a community-built park. And 
Next thing I know, the gentleman's coming in the door and asking if we'd love, like to be a part. And I said, heck yes. So we uh, very, very proud to be a part of this community-built park. As you can see, the different elements. And here's the cement, the hardscaping is put in. Behind it, they used a rubber filler so the kids wouldn't get hurt if they were playing back there. It turned out really pretty. So again, from Art Mosaics, this is how we did the wave wall for the Palmetto Adventureland Park. Thanks for viewing.